I'm going to show you how to run YOLO V7, V6, V5, YOLO R, YOLO X in one click. That's right, one click. So check this out. This is how you get started. So first up, you will need this Google Colab, which you can get right over here at store.augmentedstartups.com. And then you can scroll past all these awesome, cool computer vision projects right down to this course over here, which says YOLO V7 Nano Course. So if you click on it, it'll take you over to this page over here and you are looking for lecture 1.6, YOLO V7, V6, VR, blah, 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 in 20 lines of code, right? You got the notebook, upload it to Google Colab and let's get started. So all you need to do is to click on run all and that's it, one click. So let me take you quickly through what's going on right here. So first up, we are downloading the AS1 library, which if you don't already know, is this awesome library on GitHub. It's free, it's open source, and allows you to run any version of YOLO with any object tracker. So you can choose PyTrack, DeepSort, Norfair, and we're gonna add in much more trackers very soon. So what's really cool about this library is that, say if YOLO v8 has to get released tomorrow, we include this in our library, and then you can swap between YOLO v7 and v8, maybe even v9 when it gets released, who knows? And it all brings it down to this, that your code doesn't need to change that much. You just need to change one line of code and you'll be able to change between YOLO v5, v6, v7, v8 and beyond. So back to the repository, once you have it installed, you'll see that we have the AS1 library in our directory over here. Next, we create a virtual screen in Colab. This is basically a virtual display with a resolution of 1600 by 1216 bit of color. Next, we go on to running AS1. Now, we are going to be running this file over here called main.py. So if you open this up, you'll see that we can run YOLO v7 in just under 30 lines of code, excluding arguments. It can even come down to maybe less than 20 lines of code if we just uh, put it all in one line. But as you can see, we have our inputs, which is over here. You can change YOLO X to maybe YOLO V7. You can change PyTrack to Deep Sort or even Norfair. And everything that you need for object detection is right over here. So first up, we can see that we have our test video, which is in AS1. Actually, it is in data, sample videos, and test.mp4. We also have video2.mp4. So if you scroll down, you can see that the detection has already ran and we can view our output right here in Google Colab. Isn't that really cool? So in this video, you can see that we have the IDs or identities of each track person along with their tracking trails. Cool. So let's say you want to swap YOLO X with YOLO V7. Let's go over to our GitHub. We're going to scroll down here to benchmarks and let's look for YOLO V7. So we've got YOLO V7 E6E Onyx. So let's copy this. We're gonna paste it right over here and paste it right there. So we save our file and say we don't want to use PyTrack, right? We want to change it to deep sort. So we can just take this flag, deep sort, go back here, change PyTrack to deep sort, save it. And now we can run it again. Cool, so we've imported YOLO v7. All I have to do essentially is to run this block over here. So as you can see, it's running YOLO v7 right now. Let's wait for it to complete. Cool, so there you have it. As you can see, we ran YOLO x and now we ran YOLO v7 just by changing a single line of code. Great, so I hope you got it working on your side. Let me know in the comments down below how quick it was for you to get it working. And if you want to learn more about YOLO v7, check this video right up here.